Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn data-driven testing in test project and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go very basic step by step. I will briefly discuss what is data-driven testing and then we will do these very simple six steps to do data-driven testing in test project. We will create a test, then we will parameterize the values. We will then download the data source and we are going to use CSV file in this case. We will then update the data source that is the CSV file with our values. We are going to then add the data source in test project and then finally run the test with the data source. Towards the end of this session I will also discuss some useful tips with you. So this is going to be very interesting. So let's start learning data driven testing with test project and let's get started. I'm Raghav, I'm a teacher and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we will start learning data-driven testing in test project and before we do the steps on test project, let us see what is data-driven testing. So in very simple words, data-driven testing or data-driven tests are the test that can run multiple times based on the values or the set of values we provide from an external source like a CSV file, an Excel file or a database data. To understand this in a very easy way, let us see an example. Let's just say we have a very simple login test case where we have the steps to navigate to the application, then type John in username text box, type abc123 in the password text box, click on login button and then finally verify welcome John on the home screen. Now if we have to do data driven testing, the very first thing is we will select the values where we want to use the data sets or data from external source and we are going to replace the hard coded values with a variable. For example, in this case, let us say I want to use the username that is John and the password abc123. So I will replace these two values, the hard coded values with a variable. So I'm using a variable user for username and pswd for the password and this process is called as parameterization where we replace the hard coded values with variables and now the second step will be we will create a data source like a csv file where we will add our data for these two variables and while we run our test case the values for these two variables will be referred from this data source and the test will run multiple times equal to the number of times we have the set of values in the CSV file or the data source. For example, if we have three sets of values for username and password, the test will run three times with all these sets of values. So this is how we do data driven testing. Now coming back to test project, let us start the process with test project. I have logged into my account and I will go to the web project that I created earlier. So instead of creating a new test case, let us use our test case that we created for web testing. And here is the sample login test that we created earlier. And if I go inside this test, you can see these are the steps. Now, just in case you do not have a test case with you, you can watch the video where I created this test. I will also provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So you can watch that now here. Let us say we want to parameterize or we want to use data from a data source for username and password. So here the first step is I will go here to more options for this test case and click on these three dots and you will find an option for parameters here. So go here, click on parameters and here it will open this window for parameters. Here you will find project parameters and test parameters. I will tell you the difference between project and test parameters. For now, I am going to the test parameters and here a parameters is one of the parameters is already created which is application URL and this was created by default while we recorded this test. 
and here you can see we have a plus button to add a new parameter I will click here and here I will provide a name let us say I will say this is a username you can give some description which is optional and I will also give a value here admin and then we also have this option to make it a secret if I switch this on you can see the value is now encrypted so in case you are using a password or any token that you want to encrypt you can make this secret you can also see the description of secret here and for this I will keep it as a test parameter and say add and this parameter is added here the same way I will create for password I will click on add new parameter I will say this is password and here I will say the value is admin123 I will make it a secret because this is a password and say add and now this is also added here so I have created the parameters now the second step will be I have to replace the hard-coded values in the test case with these parameters so here this is the step where I am adding username admin in the username text box I will go here and here you can see in the input parameter section this is the hard-coded values I will remove this from here and click on the plus button and here you can see our parameters are here I will select the username parameter and I will click on this tick mark and say save and you can now see here it is using the username parameter same thing I will do for this step where I am adding a password I will click here on this step and scroll down where I am using this value I will click on the plus button and here I will remove this hard-coded value and use the password parameter and save it so now I have parameterized my test case I can scroll here to the right and say save and exit so now I have parameterized my test case now we have to get a data source so if I go here you can see we have these three dots for more options if you go here we have a option to get a data source template I will select this and this will download a CSV file and if I open the CSV file and let me increase the size so you can see it has added all the parameters that were used in the application so it was application URL username and password so in case I do not want to use multiple values for URL I will just remove this I will delete this and I just have username and password and the sequence does not matter if you want to keep username as the first column you can do that so let me just replace here I will keep password as the second column and username as the first column and I will give the values for example I want to use admin as a username and admin123 as the password for the first set and these are valid credentials for the second set I am giving some invalid credentials and we will check the results for this so I have given two sets of data for username and password you can now save and close your file and it is now saved here now we have already done the fourth step that is we have updated the data in the data source and now we have to add the data source in our test project so if you go to your project you will find a option for data sources here go here and here click on add a data file you can give any name I will say this is login data or login test data and you can give some description we also have a CSV advanced option just in case you want to select the columns delimiter you can upload or drop the file I will click here and select the file and I will say create so the data source is created I will go back to my test case and now I will click on this run button 
to run the test case make sure you have the agent running we have already learned in the earlier sessions how to set up and run the agent so you can watch that in case you do not have the agent running I will click on the run button and now I will select the browser on the agent where I want to run the test case and here you can see we have option to use data source so I will say use data source and here you will find your data source that you have created in the list here or you can directly go to add new data source and create a new data source here so I have already created this login test data I will use this and click on run and this will run the test case with two sets of data so it is now opening the browser and goes to the application and this is the first set which will pass and you can see this is done 50 percent and then there will be a second execution so it has executed let us see the results I will go to the reports and go to this latest report and you can see here if you go to the details on the right you can see it has executed the test two times with two sets of data if I see the first one which was pass it used the username admin and password admin123 if I look at the second execution which has failed it has used admin123 and admin456 as the password which was invalid credentials so that means it has executed the test two times with two sets of data and this is how you can do data driven testing now some useful tips you can use parameters at the test level or at a project level and this we have seen if I go and show you if I go to my test case and go to the parameters so we can create a parameter at a project level if you create a parameter at a project level you can use it for multiple test cases throughout the project and if you create it at a test level you can use it only for this particular test so you can do it at two levels you can also integrate the parameter with hard-coded values or other parameters for example if I go to the parameter and you can directly go to these parameters from here as well so if I go here suppose for username I want to say mr and I want to use this parameter I can do like this I can integrate a hard-coded value with the variable and I can also use two parameters for example I can also integrate multiple parameters like this so this is all very flexible in test project you can use parameters in any way we can also create output parameters so here if you go to the test case and go to more options go to input output you will see we have a option for output parameters as well and this is useful when you want to get something from a test case and want to store it into a variable you can use the output parameters so these are some useful tips and this is how you can do data driven testing with test project I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching